a good feeling mm-hmm. to have. Not at all. Not at all. Yes, and again, having a sinus infection, not a walk in the park, it can really just make you feel miserable. Well, that's exactly right. But now there's new technology to treat those infections. Now, doctors are super excited about this because it's a lot less expensive than traditional sinus surgery, and it's a lot easier on the patient, too. I didn't know what to expect. I'll be honest with you, he just told me he thought it would work. After what feels like constant crummy feeling, sinus pain and pressure for years. It's constantly. You had you know, drainage down your throat. 63-year-old Gary Boggs can fully breathe again. I would wake up at night and couldn't breathe because through my nose, and now I don't wake up. After a cold or allergy, sinuses get swollen, mucus is trapped inside, and becomes infected. Doctors usually prescribe antibiotics and steroids, or recommend a pretty big deal surgery to open up the sinuses. We go in through the nose here, we go up under the middle turbinate. Now this teeny tiny balloon is making a world of difference for patients for far less money and recovery time. And then we deflate the balloon, back it out of the sinus, remove the device. Dr. Gary Harper is one of the first surgeons in the Piedmont to use this new technology. Inflate, we usually hold it for about three seconds, and deflate. Allows uh, for better aeration of the sinuses, air can circulate into the sinuses more freely, and the mucus and secretions that are normally made in the sinuses can drain out of the sinuses more efficiently. The procedure is done in the doctor's office and is called balloon sinuplasty. It's not nearly as invasive as traditional sinus surgery. This allows us to do that right in the office under local anesthesia, so it avoids the need to go to the operating room and eliminates the need for general anesthesia for most of those folks. Balloon sinuplasty isn't for people who have polyps or a crooked septum. This is a good option for folks where we don't really need to remove tissue, but we just need to enlarge those openings. Now, doctors uh, can tell uh, by if you have a by they use a CT scan to tell if you have a sinus infection. Now, if your doctor recommends the balloon sinuplasty, this is great news. Most insurance plans do cover it.